In today's demo, we're going to show you something that illustrates the different phases of matter that can be present. Now, when I say phases of matter, you're probably thinking solid, liquid, and gas. But there's more than that. Even in the solid uh, state, you can have different phases present. I'm going to illustrate that with this piece of iron wire. So I've stretched this piece of iron wire all the way across here from post to post. I've got a ruler here. I've got just a weight. This is a ball bearing, but it's a, it's a weight. I've got a little magnet stuck to it. The magnet is attracted to the wire, so it's hanging there. And then you can see I've got wires attached from this end to this end, and these wires come to what's called a variac. What this allows me to do is turn a dial all the way from zero up to 100%, and I'll get 0% of the voltage up to 120 voltage. So this is 120 volts that I'm gonna be giving it up to that amount. Now the question is, what's gonna happen as I start to turn this dial, because it's connected to the ends of this wire and it's an AC current, it's gonna start to shuffle electrons back and forth along this wire. So what will happen? Well. You should know that uh, as it gets electrons shuffling through it, it starts to heat up. The electrons essentially collide into the atoms and impart some of their energy. So the wire is going to start to heat up. Let's see this happen. Okay, we're up to 5%. Now, notice the height of this relative to the ruler that I have here. Let's turn it up to about 10%. Okay, you notice that? See the smoke coming off? What's happening there? Well, because this is iron wire, it's going to smoke because uh, they have to coat it in a layer to prevent oxidation. We talked about oxidation last chapter. That's preventing oxidation. Now notice this. This wire is actually getting lower. See, it's dipping down. Let's continue heating it up. We're at 10%. Let's bring it up to 15%. Notice where this wire is at. It's dipping lower, lower, lower. Now watch what happens. We're up to about 20%, it keeps dropping up to 25%, getting lower and lower. Okay, we want to be careful here, we don't want to melt the wire, but we keep getting hotter until it starts to glow a little bit. We're at 30% right now, hope I don't trip my breaker. We're up to 33, 35%. You'll notice, I'm starting to see it here, the wire is starting to turn a little bit orange, right? When it gets hot enough, around 700 Celsius, it starts to change color. We start to see it giving, what we're seeing is the radiation coming off. It's called black body radiation. It's getting hotter, go up to about 40. Okay, it's getting hotter. See it getting orange, let's go up to 45 carefully now. All right, now it's turning red. It's no longer orange. It's turning red. We'd like to wait till we see a couple things happen. We want to see the magnet drop. It's going to get hot enough. See, it's mostly orange in places that aren't touching these because these are acting as heat sinks. The heat is able to go into the wire and into the magnet. And it's keeping the wire from getting quite as hot. But if we give it a moment, it will get hot enough and we should see that magnet begin to drop. Let's go a little bit hotter. Let's go up to 45. A little bit hotter. I don't want to burn myself or anything. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher on hand if you do this demo. Okay, the magnet. So the magnet just fell. Now check this out. That wire is very hot. Let's go up just close to 50. I don't think we want to go hotter than that. I don't want to melt it. Okay, we're right around 50. Now I want you to pay attention to the height of this wire when I kill the heat. So it's right there. It goes up, it goes down, and now it's going up again. So what's happening here? Because this is a piece of iron wire, at low temperature, the phase of iron is what's called alpha iron, it's ferrite. And the atoms come together in a certain way which we call body-centered cubic, and we'll talk more about that later. But at high temperatures, the atoms, as they get hotter and hotter and hotter, all of a sudden there's a reaction that takes place. They go from body-centered cubic, and they transform into face-centered cubic. And in that process, there's a volume change. The atoms in face-centered cubic are more tightly packed together. So think about it, as we're heating this up, it's thermal expanding. That's why the wire's initially getting longer, because the wire's fixed at two ends, so if it's getting longer, it's drooping more and more. But all of a sudden, at a certain temperature, it reaches a temperature where it switches to, BC, or to FCC, and it shrinks because the atoms snug closer together. So the whole wire contracts. Once that transformation